Today we are working overtime. Scooper is home because he has a high fever. I'm not sure if he's, you know, sick or COVID, but um, yeah. It's a lot of work. Mom has a mess as usual. Haven't slept. Coffee. Much need the coffee. It's. I know, honey. We got cold brew with um, creamer. I have to have this. So good. And uh, helps me uh, go through the day. Can you? No, don't do that, honey. What? No, don't do that. So he's always climbing. The other day he climbed on this chair and then he was jumping up and down and he fell back and his head just, you know, hit the ground really hard. Yeah. So you gotta be careful. Every time I'm around here, he wants to be around me. He wants to like chill. Be careful, don't jump, okay? Beep, beep. Beep. No, 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 okay? Okay, we're gonna get him some chicken to eat. Mm. Dump truck. Yeah, you want to show you a dump truck? Dump truck. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, so. Are you eating cook? Beep. But today we're going to have um, beep, beep. lightly breaded chicken beep. breasts. Beep, 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 375 beep, um, beep. for 23 minutes, okay? Let's do that, okay? Oh, 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 oh careful, ew. careful. My oh, air fryer yeah. is not ready today because I, I forgot to wash it yesterday in the dishwasher area and um, yeah, I don't have a sponge. So we're gonna have to deal with um, the oven today. Can you move so mommy can get some food? Oh, no wheel! No wheel? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All, every single month he gets sick. Oh, every single month. I don't know what it is. We haven't tested COVID, but we figured if it is, then he'll get over and build his immune. But like seriously, what happened to like breastfeeding? And it'll help with his antibodies and what whatnot. And yeah, he's just here. Can mommy can mommy get some Saran? No, no, not Saran. Mommy, what is this paper called? Mama brain. What is this? Foil. Let's get some foil. Okay, don't play, please. This is here. I'm gonna put this back in, okay? Thank you. No, 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 don't play with that. Okay. So on the rack. On the wheel. On the wheel. On the wheel. And um, put the chicken in here. What you doing, honey? What you doing? Mmm. I need to start using my. Uh, Stabilizer because I'm just like plopping this on everywhere. So didn't vlog much yesterday. Um, took care of Cooper. High fever last night, 105 ish. Oh, Chit chat with my sister and um, just all the cool, really. Okay, I think that's enough for you for 23 minutes. Let's time this. Can you say one, two, three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's so cute. Sometimes he gets under my skin because he really just crowds my area. Like everywhere I go, crowds, crowds, crowds. And like I can't breathe because he's just in my space. Like he'll climb up to me. And just keep climbing up, and it's like there's nowhere to climb. Just, you know? Anyways, need my coffee. I got this set up here because, you know, then the kids will just stretch it out. Sometimes they like to uh, chill all spread out, and then we have him here because he just ate. They are up to five ounces now. Five ounces. He used to be two, and then three, four, and then five. My big boys. All my big boys. Uh oh, Leo, put it back. Yes. Life. Okay, now time for Mama and Papa to eat. We're having a broccoli salad. So good from Costco. This is the Jones broccoli 
Madness salad kit and I only use one um, salad pouch because it's too much dressing. So I have a lot extra so I can just buy broccoli by itself and then make it myself. Yay! For dinner I'm having quinoa rice, shrimp and zucchini. Got myself a glass of wine. <sighs> Long day today. Much needed. Today, a lot of work as well. I feel like every single, like, every other week, it's like a good week and then a bad week. And it's like having your period, you know? When you have your period, you have that one week where you're like, fuck. And then three weeks out of the month, you're like, okay, you chill. Or actually, one week out of the month, you chill. Because the week before my period, I get crazy. And the week after, I get crazy. And the week during, I get crazy. <laughs> so... There's that whole combo of like overwhelmness and such. But um, we made it through the day. Right now it's like 9.30 p.m. I just put rain down and um, it's going to, hopefully they sleep through the night, both of them. Fed them five ounces. They're five ounce babies now. Um, rain takes all the five ounces, but Sky hasn't yet. So sometimes he'll take five ounces and other times he'll take four. So he's a little bit smaller takes time and you just gotta play by ear and see what they'll take and whatnot. But um, yeah, I have just been on, like I swear, on my toes all day today. Scooper, oh that's why, because Scooper's home. I'm like super, oh, and whenever the weekend comes, I'm like, oh. He's just like rice and I'm like, okay, give him rice, no. And then he's like, chicken? I'm like, okay, get him chicken. He's like, no. And he's like, pouch? And I'm like, okay, I give him a pouch. No. So it just drives me nuts. And every single time I tell him no for something like, hey, don't play with that, he continually tests me. And then I will be like, oh my God, why don't you listen to me? Like, seriously. He'll pull my strings to the limit, like to the fullest. And I'm just like, I get angry and... I yell a lot and <clears throat> actually I don't yell a lot I just get really I yell in my brain because I know that when I saw Lynn my sister yell at the kids Olivia like she became a monster she was just so consumed with what Olivia was doing that she would just like get so upset and just scream and I don't want to be like that so I'll find myself doing spurts of like no stop it do not do that and then I'll pull back and be like, no, I don't want to be like that. Let's just talk to him calmly and just approach it a different way. Because I don't want myself to turn into that crazy lady that just, you know, screams at the kid all day. So, yeah, my sister, she's going through a lot with the kids. And I get it because, you know, she has girls, which I heard that girls drive you ten times more crazier. And also, she doesn't get much help from Tim. I mean, Tim does work a lot and whatnot, but he also has other things that he does on the weekends. And <clears throat> mainly, their agreement was never like ours. Whereas, like, Brian will take care of babies um, 100%. I mean, ours was 100%, but Indy and I ended up taking more responsibility. But there are times when I'm fed up, I'm like, you better take care of the kid. And Brian's like, okay, or else I will throw a fit. Like, I will do a lot of things for BK and let him get away with it for the most part, but when I need help and I tell him to do it, he better do it. With um, their relationship, it's kind of like, you know, she wanted the kids, so she kind of like is also a housewife, so you know, it's one of those things where she she's glad to do it, but at the same time, it's still stressful. But um, for me, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Anyways, um, yesterday was Olivia's birthday, and I think today is like the 9th? I'm not sure. Let me grab my phone. I haven't seen oh, I haven't seen my phone in forever, but today is the 9th and the kids are turning 4 months tomorrow. So they have been better sleep training than Scooper because when Scooper was 4 months, I was like fed up and I put him down to sleep to train him like to sleep through the night. And that was pretty easy because the first night he cried for 30 minutes. The second night he cried for 
um, five minutes the third night was like, I don't know, a minute, something like that. Something really small. And since then, he's been really good with sleeping. But these kids, they were able to sleep through the night a little bit earlier. But they do cry a lot longer than Scooper. Like, they will cry. Like, I don't know if it's because I've been on shows and Brian's just, like, let them cry all day. But they cry literally for 40 minutes or more. And then B kid lets them do that. So maybe they're used to that. Because every single day I put them down and then they'll, like, cry and cry for, like, 30, 40 minutes. And it doesn't end. And so I'm like, okay, they're different you know, than Scooper, but um, I just gotta deal with it. Um, I did notice that today I fed them about five ounces each before putting them down. Actually, five ounces for rain and four ounces for um, Sky because he fell asleep on the bottle. I kind of prepped the day to be like that so that, you know, I would give them certain feedings at certain time. And so, um, when I put them down right now, they were so stuffed and full that they knocked out in like, I don't know, five minutes. So, maybe the four month mark, getting close to it, they won't cry as much. So, I feel like I trained the kids, me and Brian trained the kids earlier, the twins, earlier for sleeping through the night versus Scooper at four months. That makes sense? Anyways, I'm just jabbering. But yeah. <sighs> Nightcaps every single day because I'm so tired. And today I think I pulled a muscle in the back so I could not lift my hair hand up to like tie my hair for a good moment of the day. And I was like, shit, like I couldn't move. And so bending over and all that was just like a hot mess. Yeah, so um, kids are still spitting up. I hope that they stop soon. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, it makes me like super anxiety. And every single time I hold them to feed them and think about them throwing up, I start to like um, sweat a lot. Like seriously sweat. Every single time. Like I get heated and like it's like a sauna, but then it's not that cold. It's not that um, hot. Yeah, but I just... Uh, so when I put them down after a long day of taking care of the kids, I am like so beat that I need my wine. <laughs> I know I was trying to get it out of my system, but damn, it's just, <sighs> it's like back and forth fighting my demons, my inner demons, and I'm like, yeah, basically. All right, so, um, I'm gonna call it a night and um, catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I know my vlogs have been really like random every every other day, and I'm I'm just trying to like float every single day. Like I'm just floating, trying to survive. But um, I'll try my best to um, focus. All right, so I got some packages that came in today, and I'm super excited because I'm definitely domesticated now. I know that was the last thing on my mind, but it is what it is, and I'm here just to take care of my kids and just be Brian's nanny, basically. We're no longer lovers. I'm his nanny. Anyways, I got this in Home Lux. And the reason why I got these is because I bought these spoons and Brian was like, how the hell, how the hell are you going to shove this into your mouth? It's so hard to shove this into your mouth and eat. And it comes with this spoon, which is way too small. He's like, where's the middle? He's like the middle child. This is like, where's the middle, you know? And so I decided, okay, let's just buy these set because this has the middle. This is, come back when you put them down, okay? Okay, so one of the babies, Sky, um, didn't finish his um, one ounce and now he wants more. And so we just fed him. I should have just woke him up and just, hey, finish your stuff. Anyways, um, here it is. The Home Lux. Um, set. It's super fancy and come here, Brian. Let's see if it fits fancy. your mouth. I don't want fancy. It's why. Why not make it straighter? Does it fit your mouth? 
Okay. <laughs> this one is the same size as this, but it feels more fancier and I like it already. How many do you get? Um, I don't know. Six? But it's definitely not this where you're like, mm. I can't eat. How eat come there's only this. two of these? Um, because it comes in two and I bought two sets and... Only two? Jeez. Yes. Packaging costs more. It does cost more because these two cost me 150 bucks. What? Mm-hmm. It's just freaking spoons, babe. Brian, silverware is silverware. Spoon Calm silver. down. And you're gonna enjoy shoving this in your mouth properly, okay? So, there we have it. Nice forks. They're really nice, actually. I'm surprised. I guess it is worth the money because they feel good. They feel really good. You haven't even tried it. No, I mean, I haven't tried it, but like I can tell just by holding it, like holding a makeup brush, I feel good. You can tell. Here, Brian, come here. Look, come here. Hold this spoon and hold this spoon. Tell me which one is worth more. It's way more better. The heavier one? Let me see. Oh, uh, the flatness fits well in my Now thumb. hold this one. Let me see this one. It's round. It's like, you don't know the direction. I'm serious. If you close your eyes, you're like, oh, which, oh, sideways. <sighs> Just shut up. Flat one, Go away direction. and be grateful. You're so annoying. Okay. But I'm happy Not to practical. buy these and enjoy them. So, replacing our silverware's Again, I don't really care for the knives. Knives don't do anything for me, but I guess we'll keep them just in case we have like steak night out or something like that. But yeah. And one more is this package we have right here. Um, excited because <laughs> I'm mom now. I don't know if I should say I'm sad that I'm like super domesticated and I'm giving up all hopes of whatever. But you know, after giving up all the things that I wanted to do in life, I came out with three beautiful babies. So I absolutely am grateful for them. Some days when I get mad at Brian and I feel like he's like a piece of crap, I just look at my kids and I think, wow, they're legit gonna be the only things, the only people that will make me happy. So Brian's being replaced. Anyways, um, I got straws. Okay, so y'all know that I have the nine inch straws. They're like this long and they're super cute and I have gotten used to drinking them but I wanted short ones because um, when I drink wine or when I have cocktails it's nice to have because um, they're shorter here hold on give me a second so I drink my wine with a straw because I don't want to stain my teeth and you put it in it's perfect you see how this one's much longer and I think that the ninth inch is too long so I don't want to go and use this and it'll flip over and it'll be a hot mess. But um, yeah, um, this straw is perfect for this and cocktails and such. So we have that. And then I also ordered some cups. Okay, so I have been testing out cups because I feel like I don't go out to the malls and shop and see exactly what the cups look like. So I have no idea what they do look like, but um, because Amazon has a great return policy, I'm able to just order it and see how I feel about it. And then if I don't like it, I can return it. And this is the cup that I chose. So I bought previously, I didn't vlog it, but I bought some cups that I thought, okay, well, you know, the more um, ounces that you can put into a cup, the better. And then I thought to myself, wow, this cup that I ordered previously was too big. <laughs> and I was like, you know, if I needed to refill, at first I was like, okay, if I get a big cup, I don't need to refill because then it'll be like easier to like have a drink without having to get up and such. 
But then when I saw the cups, I was like, oh my God, they're huge. They're just not attractive. I don't feel good drinking in them. So then I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna return them because I'd rather have smaller cups that are kind of cute and slender. And then if I need to refill them, then good for me because then I would have to get up and exercise every single time. <laughs> okay, so that's my thought process. But I ended up with these cups. So I like them because they're nice and slender and um, I can use my thin straw with it. So it looks super cute. The other ones was like literally double the size of this and so I didn't want to deal with it. And I think that these make me feel good drinking water. And it's weird because psychologically, if you have a certain silverware that you feel good about, you constantly drink water or whatever as much as possible with these, um, you know, mental mind, mind brain kind of deal. But yeah, I do like them. They're super thin and super cute. It won't fit my smaller straws because you see, the smaller straws will go down. But the smaller straws will go for something else and I think I'm happy with these cups. I'm gonna keep them and they're gonna be great for cocktails. See, very nice and slender. If I can just hold it like this, it's great. Um, they are very tall compared to the other ones that I saw on Amazon because I went through several phases of them just to find the right cup for my daily enjoyment of H2O or juice or, or vodka. I don't know what it is. And so there you have that. Um, I bought another set, so this is what it is. I'm not gonna open it, but last thing in my delivery is this thing right here. Um, I went over here to grab a knife or a little razor blade because these packages are hard to open, you know? They, they really like seal it. All right, so I bought saucers because I do, homegirl does love a hot pot kind of deal. And the other day I bought saucers that were way too small and Brian was like, they're fine, they're fine. I was like, no, they're not fine because if I can't fit sushi in here, like a salmon, then I'm not gonna be happy. So yeah, we have this. Okay, my, my friends came. Uh, hello? We yeah. you yes, I'm always up. What's up? These are my sauces for hot pot. <laughs> Because you guys come over to eat hot pot all the time, and I never have sauce bowls, right? I mean, you need to fight us over. I mean, you fight us over, we keep coming over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so these will fit your sauces. Hey. 